Then we have a narration mentioned by Al-Wahidi, the narration of Muqatil. He says that at the time of the victory of Makkah, you and I know that the chiefs of Quraysh, some of them had accepted Islam, such as Abu Sufyan and the likes, and some had still not accepted Islam. And it was time for prayer. And the Prophet ﷺ chose from amongst his companions, Bilal ibn Rabah, who was a dark-skinned man from Africa, to climb on top of the Kaaba, which means the rooftop of the Kaaba, and to call out the Adhan, the call to prayer. He says, Oh Bilal, you go and you call out that call. So Bilal ibn Rabah, who used to be a slave of some of these people, when he climbed and he went on top and he was calling out the people to prayer, some of the kuffar of Quraysh and some of those who were weak, who had less knowledge, who were not really filled with Iman, they uttered a term that was derogatory. Do you know what they said? We wish we'd have died before we saw this day. Look at this dark skinned man standing here, being given the honor. How can this have been the case? How can this be allowed? How can he be a man who's calling to prayer? He's calling the others to prayer. And yet he's a man who's dark skinned. And immediately, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has raised the status of Bilal ibn Rabah radiallahu anhu. And if you sit and think about it, he was carefully selected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be among the people of Quraysh and later on to go to Medina in Hijrah and later on to come back and to achieve this virtue. Had there been no people who were dark skinned at the time, where would we have ever learned the virtue of those who have dark skin or where would we have learned that skin does not mean anything at all it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has created us with different skins from different races and so on for a purpose so let's listen to this purpose Allah revealed verse number 13 of surat al-hujurat to clarify this and to make it very clear that we come from one source and the reason why Allah has separated us or created us differently, Allah makes mention of it. Ya ayyuha nasu inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila lita'arafu inna akramakum indallahi atqakum O oh, you who believe, in the, or should I say, O oh man, Allah doesn't use the term, O oh you who believe here. He says, O oh man, because this is a lesson for all mankind. O oh mankind, I have created you from a single male and a single female, which means you are all belonging to one father and one mother. One father, one mother, subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to understand that. Allah says, we have made you into peoples and nations in order that you recognize one another so that you can know one another. That's the reason why we made you different. But you need to know that the most pious from amongst you or the most honored from amongst you is the one who has the greatest consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah knows best. Man doesn't know. Who knows who is more pious? It is actually Allah who knows that. We will get the result of it on the day of judgment. When Allah gives it to us and says, you know what? You were better than the others because you were closer than me. For now, it's a struggle for everyone. Now, one might ask, so this difference in order to get to know each other, how does it work? Very simple. We don't think. Today we are seated here, perhaps, mashallah, in our thousands, I think. If you take a careful look, Every single person is recognizable by their looks because Allah made you unique and different. Imagine if we were all looking the same. Allah is telling you, I made everybody different so you can recognize each other. So I know you because your name is Muhammad, the other one is Abdullah, the other one is Saeed, the other one is Ismail, the other one is Arif, the other one is Bashir. We know them because of their faces. Had it not been for these faces, we would have not recognized them. We would have had numbers. Take a look at the motor vehicles. Each one has a number plate. Why? Because the Toyotas look alike. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. So Allah is saying, look, some are tall, some are short, some are a little bit on the, you know, should I say, mashallah, bigger. We don't want to use the derogatory term. Some are a little bit slimmer, mashallah, some are muscular, some are perhaps, you know, slim and so on. 
Uh, all this is from Allah. Some are dark skinned, some are slightly lighter in complexion. Allah says, it's only for you to recognize one another, to make it interesting. You live on earth, you say, oh, mashallah, you know, subhanallah, because you look at so many people who are all different, and that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So remember this, racism is totally prohibited. It's something that Islam disallows. Today we are seated here. We've got all sorts of colors, shapes and sizes, mashallah. And everyone is free to sit wherever they want. It's the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are brothers and sisters in faith. Nobody can say, okay, because my skin is a little bit perhaps darker or lighter, I am more entitled to do X, Y and Z. Absolutely not. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from among those who do not feel superior to others simply based on perhaps where we come from, perhaps the, the color of our skin, perhaps sometimes even the village we come from. We have a habit where we believe we are better. We are better than everybody else. That's it. It's my little village that is there in one corner tucked away and the mangoes we ate were a little bit more yellow than the mangoes on the other side. Wallahi, this is a disease. It is a disease. And if you think about it, I think I've hit it on the, on the head because it's a fact. A lot of us, and if we look at our hearts, even our fathers and our forefathers, they feel that we are better just because we come from a certain village or a certain area. Wallahi, you are not. That is exact jahiliya. The kuffar of Quraysh used to feel exactly the same. And Allah revealed these verses to clarify that. Let's be passionate about this and let's take it out of our hearts. And let's understand we are all from Adam and Adam is from the dust. And we are going to be returning to that dust. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and protect us from racism. Sometimes that creeps in without us even realizing that we've become racist. Ameen.